Well, hello, this is Laura with Jot and Tittle Typewriters. Thanks for joining me today. And I have a pretty Royal Quiet Deluxe. This is actually our first pink one. Um, I've been wanting one for quite a while and um, I'm so glad that we finally got one. And it's so hard not to keep it. I don't know, we have, now we have three, three, 1956 Royal Quiet Deluxe is sitting here. I've got a green one, I've got a pink one, I've got a beige one. And crossing our fingers, we should have a red one here soon. So, boy, we've we have seriously debated about keeping these and start, you know, and and collecting every color of a 1956 Royal Quiet Deluxe. And so, mmm. I will list this, but I got to tell you, we, we talk about it almost every day. So if we change our minds, we're going to be pulling these down and keeping them because it's tempting. I love, love it. Look at it. It's so pretty. Okay. Let's go ahead and show you guys how to use these and how this one in particular works. So we have, um, Here's your carriage, and the thing about the carriage is on the top here, this back plate, it folds back. And in there, you're going to see your tab settings. And so you just press and drag to set tabs. The nice thing is, is you don't have to worry about, you know, the tab keys on the Smith Coronas that they have. You don't have to worry about losing those. So you just um, drag to wherever you want it. Um, the margins are set. This is a magic margin. So um, uh, really quick, I'll show you, but I do have a typewriter tutorial or tips. Under typewriter tips, you'll see a video that shows you how to really use them. But basically, you kind of put, um, put it where you want and hit and it sets. But if you want to go out this way, you have to do a little bit differently. So go to the video to see how to do that. Right here is your paper holder and um, looks like antennas. I'll keep those up because I'll use that. Your carriage release is this lever behind the roller and on this side, the same thing. You can hear the bell, it's nice and strong. Your return handle right here, this determines if you advance one, two or three lines, which it comes in handy if you're um, writing notes in between lines. This is going to release your roller. So if when it's engaged, you can hear it click, okay? Um, and when you t uh, flip that down, it releases it and it just helps you do some fine adjusting. If you're trying to get in between a line or line it up perfectly on lined paper, you know, whatever it might be. And then this is just your paper guide right here. Now, if you wanna lock your carriage, carriage lock is right down here okay um, these are these colored royals are highly sought after so if you want it you're gonna pay um, a lot of extra money for it because there's just especially in this kind of condition there are just very few that are left that are out there and they're highly sought after so if you like it grab it especially if before we change our mind. Okay, to open up the top, you press this button right here. Um, and oh, you can see how clean it is. So this has metal spools, and which means we've put in extra ribbon on these metal spools. And it's going to last you an extra long time. Um, when you get to the end of your ribbon, you want to reverse the direction of these spools. And you do that right here. It's just a tiny movement, but it changes the direction of your ribbon. You should be able to re um, change the direction, you know, like 20, 30 times before you need to replace this ribbon. Make sure you go to um, our typewriter tips. There's a video that shows you how to change out ribbon, but basically make sure it's within those guide wires there. Touch control just determines how hard these strike bars right here, tight bars, strike bars, um, hit your paper. It's just personal preference. Color selector is on the right. Put that back down. Tombstone keys. I love the tombstone keys and I like the thin ones. Some of these typewriters have the thick 
um, plastic keys. Uh, I really like the thin ones. Okay, let's go ahead and do our typing tutorial. Okay, I've got my paper here and I'm just gonna slide it right against that paper guide. And we do, people ask uh, what kind of paper we use. I just get printer paper from the store. Like, look, I got that perfect. So I don't need to adjust it. This piece happens to be a little dirty, uh, this paper, but it works. Okay, so this is a, and there's no number one, so you use the lowercase l, and it's a 1956. Wow, these keys are super easy. I mean, they're bouncing right back. Just you only need a light touch. Um, for those of you who have used typewriters before, you know that manual typewriters usually it takes a little effort and you have to press a little bit harder than what we're used to and further down. Um, these require a lot, don't need as heavy of a hand. A lighter touch is perfect, which makes it great for those of us who have tiny hands or for those who are younger. Okay, so this would be a great Christmas present for somebody. And this is a pink. I'm gonna go ahead and put the serial number on this. I am creating a database of typewriter font because uh, we get um, questions um, sorry, I can't type and talk at the same time, um, about fonts and I really haven't studied them out. And, uh, so I decided to start, keep a little, uh, like a library and kind of compare like the night, I'll compare all my 1956 quiet deluxes and see how the fonts look in comparison to each other and stuff like that. Okay, you guys, this type's amazing. I mean, amazing. It is so clean. Now this particular one has a little bit of wear uh, right here on the left side. You can, I have some photos um, in the description below. But the interior, you know, the mechanics of it and like the front view, I mean, there's little tiny uh, wear, point of wear right here. This side looks great. This side has a piece of wear here and some wear right here. Other than that, it's this perfect bubblegum pink. Um, um, FYI, if you're looking for your serial number, if you have one, it's going to be right here behind the carriage on the left side. Okay, let's keep typing. I'm just in love with this typewriter. space. Wow. Okay. This is another A plus typewriter. You guys. Oh, fantastic. Love, love this. Hurry up and grab this. Seriously. If we, if we end up getting that red one, we may pull this off of our off of our uh, website. So if you really want it, go grab it. 
Great typewriter. Somebody needs to write a book on this thing. Have a great day.